Okay, hi everyone. Today I'm, uh, I know I was gone last week and I, was, I meant to do it on a particular day and then I got sick and no, I don't think it was the Rona, but who knows, I was sick for like one day, so yeah, <laughs> but uh, then I, that was already pretty late in the week, so I just decided to do it again this week because a lot of the veggies were not going to make it, which was unfortunate because then I had to we had to buy more, which, um, sucks. It was just the parsley. And the tomatoes. And the tomatoes. Yeah. So that sucks, but, oh well, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Um, I don't like missing, so. But yeah, today I'm doing fat rice from Burkina Faso, which is, I hope the dog's not getting any, anything. Hold on. <laughs> Both. Your right, both Catherine Broderhausen Royce and John Royce are watching. Okay. Hello, yeah. so Royce. It's, it's from Burkina Faso, which is a um, country in, in West Africa. Mm -hmm. in Caitlin Fusco is watching. Hello. And, uh, and I know nothing about this country, so I don't have a lot to say. So I'll be looking at the book whenever there's downtime mm -hmm. or anything like that. John described it as slenderly challenged rice. What? Oh, fat rice. Yeah. Right. And your mom it's... says she's silently here, so I don't think he's going to be talking too much. I'm offended by fat rice, says John. So, it's, um, it's called fat rice, I guess, because there's just, there's a lot of chicken in it. And I'm using this, which is really good chicken substitute. Comrade Cluck. Alright, clock it out, evil. Mm -hmm. Also, Caitlin says hi, and she's silently here. Hello. Hello, Caitlin. This is um from Asheville, which is cool. Mm. And anyway, so the first thing I'm going to do is to cut some tomatoes and then blend a bunch of stuff together in this food processor. Um, after I make sure that everyone knows that um, we're totally sponsored by Polar. That's absolutely a thing that's going on. Um, Drink up. Since, you know, we're so popular. Yeah, our whole four viewers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, veggie time. So I'm just gonna take the top. So you gotta quarter these tomatoes. Off. Um, I'm just gonna eat that. Ooh, scandalous. Mm. It's a tomato for sure. <laughs> sure is tomato. Sure is so I, tomato. I believe these are hothouse tomatoes, if anyone's curious. Okay. Also known as a fucking tomato. Trying to get rid of the butt there. There we go. Okay. I don't want the butt. No one, no one wants butts. I got to not cut myself, so that's exciting. That would be good. Please yeah. do so. I would like to not do that. Certainly smells like tomato. Yeah, it was pretty good. It almost had like a spicy kind of, not spicy, but like. That's why they're hot house, yeah, for Erica. Sure. For sure. <clears throat> they're very seedy. Yeah. So I also have the um, a half onion and then um, two cloves of garlic. I'm having the recipe, and if I was to have everything, I'd only end up with one clove of garlic and a quarter of an onion, but I think that's kind of silly, so I'm going to do... More garlic onion. is always good, and onions are also delicious, so here we are. <laughs> yeah. Sam um, says, speaking of tomatoes, I didn't realize lasagna requires a lot of tomato-based things, and she says hi. Oh yeah, because didn't you make lasagna? I saw that on your story. I mean... Well, of course it requires tomato-based things. Like, how would it... It's, it's like 50% like, tomato sauce. Yeah, that's like one of the light... Oh my god. Am I using the wrong side? No, it's just... The skin. Just right. smashing the back of a knife into yeah. a tomato. So, yeah. This is a very tomato-y... Because uh, then there's also tomato paste, so it's going to be a very tomato-y... Yeah. The, the main ingredients are like chicken, rice, and tomatoes. So... Now I'm going to bring this over carefully. We're on the move. Fuck. 
Can you just scoot it? Yeah. Scoot. And my drink back, please. Okay, thank you. We're all about planning ahead here. I do a ton of shit ahead. <laughs> Don't give me that nonsense. <laughs> so, now... We're gonna process some food in our food yeah. processor. And I actually added the blade this time because I've been a dumb bitch before and haven't added the blade. I plan ahead all the time. I do, but I forget that food processor doesn't have the blade in it already. Mm -hmm. No, I understand. So I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> all right. So we're, we're basically making like a tomato sauce, right? Yeah, it is like basically that. I'm cutting this up too. Um, because I don't think the food processor is going to have a good time if I don't cut it up. Sam said the quietest fuck. Why did she say a quiet fuck? I think someone said fuck quietly. I don't remember who. It was probably me. <laughs> All right. Scrape off the extra. You think they'd invent a garlic crusher that like doesn't require that? Maisie Etheridge is watching. Hello, Maisie. Yeah, I know, but oh well, it's fine. Okay, so <laughs> making some fat see. rice. It's got right. chicken. It's got yeah. rice. It smells weird. And like a tomatoey like... onion sauce. Yeah. Crushing in some garlic in there. Erica's Holy getting her fuck. workout for the day. <clears throat> there you go. I'm not strong. <clears throat> Sweet. Oh, Gotta crush more garlic. Get, get in shape. Yeah. Let's see all that good, good garlic. Oof, I love garlic. What else is going in here? Oh, oh, we're reading. We got a reader. All right. So that should be that. I'm gonna add a little bit of flavor just because I think that that will help it. Salt. Technically it doesn't have to be added in, well, excuse me, sorry the ending, but I think that at least a little bit of salt. Why not? All right. Does the tomato paste go in Jesus later? Christ. What do I do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You go nice and pure, pureed? Is that the word? Yeah, just like blended, I don't know. Yeah, cut up. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that's probably smooth enough. I don't really want to go sticking my fingers in there. Maybe just the knife. Yeah. Erica doesn't care about the safety of her knife. Very sad. That seems fine. I'll leave that there. It kind of looks like... Looks a murder good. victim was put in there. Yeah! So that's kind of gross. That's where we put the bodies. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Um, I'm going to be making some oh. chicken broth using this. So. Yeah, a lot of non chicken chicken items. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that so that it's ready because I'm going to use it soon. I don't think the preparation of this takes a long time, so. Pop that bad boy in the water, let him go. Just let it get really hot. Um, Very nice and easy. So yeah, while I'm waiting for that, 
I have olive oil. Don't do this. Um, I have like half of a third of a cup of olive oil. Half of a third of a cup. Yeah, because that's what it said a third, and I was just like, well. Mm -hmm. Um, but normally you're supposed to put it in a liquid measuring. I just didn't have one, so. Close enough. It's They're both here. a third of a cup. So I'm gonna put it in here, and then um. And then I'm going to heat it up to like medium high, so like there. Yeah. Maybe a little higher. That's yeah, just medium. There you go. Like that. Hell yeah. And then, um, What's next? Um, we're going to add the combination after that gets a little hot. We're going to add the combination of the blender and heat, or the food processor. Oh, nice. And heat it for a bit. Cook some vegetables. And then after that's heated, we're gonna add um, the chicken stock, which I'm making right now, the tomato paste and spices, and uh, then the chicken. So. So let's get going. This is gonna get. Hot In fact, I might be able to do that while everything is cooking. So. See, it's been warmed. It looks exactly the same. Yeah, so we're gonna put that back in. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna break down this chicken of it into pieces so that I don't have to do it. Hey, wait, later. show it off. It just looks like that. It looks like nothing. Yeah. Um, but you can basically <clears throat> like, tastes tear delicious. it off. You'll see. Mm -hmm. It gets torn off. And it's definitely the best tasting chicken we've found that's not actual chicken i'll use a plate it doesn't look like we have another uh no it's in it's in the wash all right so this is like a pound of it mm -hmm. um which i'm substituting for chicken thighs but you can see once it's uh you can see the inside of it is very yeah, it chicken like very well. Um, it has the same kind of texture as chicken, which is a great thing, like you can see. Mm -hmm. We use this for a lot of anything that is like chicken in something. So like yeah. a soup with chicken, obviously rice dishes. Yeah. I'm going to have to use a knife on this. This is just like a solid yeah. block. But yeah, any, anything like that we, try, we tend to use this for because um, it's a little more expensive than some of the other brands, but like... The texture is so perfect the that it works really, really well. Too. Yeah. For like, for, for any non-breaded chicken. Yeah. For anything that has to be like grilled or yeah, something like that or like baked. Mm -hmm. We've made chicken nuggets with these. That was fun. Yeah. You just said for any non-breaded chicken, but we use them for chicken nuggets. Well, yeah. What I mean is that this is the, I feel like we'd use this all the time if it wasn't so expensive. Yeah, it is quite expensive. So like, we, we did, we, there was like the fancy gourmet nuggets, you know? Could you get out the thing for me? Depends on what the thing the is. The thing in the microwave? Yes, I can. I just need to check if it needs to go again. Uh -huh. That's probably good. Okay. You just... Thanks, you're, you're good. You can put it down. Thank you. Doing that with a microwave door in my way. Okay. Yeah. I know this isn't exciting, but... uh. I'm enjoying it, personally. I won't have to. That might be because I'm very excited to eat some chicken. Yeah, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in case anyone didn't see before, it's, um, we're talking it up so much. It is the No Evil Foods brand Comrade Cluck. It's, it's very good. Yeah, they have, exactly. they have other stuff, like there's a pork, I think, and a beef, and a bunch of other stuff. I don't think we've tried any of them. No. Oh, no, don't we, doesn't, um, don't your parents use... They're like pulled pork for sloppy joes or something. I don't know which one I don't they know. use. I think they use Beyond Beef ground. Oh, maybe. I, I have no idea. But 
This is the only one that we really use, and that's because it's like better than all the other it's alternatives. It's really good. It's we were pricey. Yeah. In terms of meats, we really only ever use chicken recipes and beef recipes. Yeah. And it's like, this is the best. That's what's reliable. Yeah. Right. This is the best chicken. Beyond beef is the best beef. And we just roll with those. We're over here again. Quick drink break. Yeah, let me look at something. This, un this oil's heating up. Oh, yeah. How um, much was that box of chicken? I think it's like eight bucks. It's unfortunately expensive, but, um... Yeah. It really is. But I also don't know, like, I'm not sure what the, um... A pound of chicken is significantly less than that. I would think it would be. Yeah. So now I'm just, uh, making this into chicken stock, essentially. Yeah, just stir it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if, if someone knows how much a pound of chicken is for comparison, I'd love to know. But I'm sure it's... Significantly more expensive because this yeah. is a lot fancier. I'm gonna need something to cut the parsley on because I thought we had the other cutting board. Okay, I can rinse off really the other sure cutting board. Here, I can do yeah. this. Oh, that's. Fingers. Yeah. Sorry, I did bread cutting on this yesterday. Oh, the bread? Yeah. Oh, that bread is so good. We got this Kalamata olive bread from the, uh, the store. From our local farmer's the market. The farmer's market. Sorry, not the store. I meant to say the market. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. yeah it, it's finally far enough into the summer that our, our farmer's market opened up. And it's cute. They've, it is. Mm. They've made it this, like, little one-way loop because mm -hmm. of, uh... COVID and stuff, but it's, it's fun. Sorry, I was just testing the, how stocky it is. How stocky is it? It's pretty good. It's not as stocky as it could be, but I don't think we really need it. No, you're about to put a bunch of like tomato paste in there. I think it's fine. Here, I'm not really showing anything. It's kind of embarrassing. Let me put that back down. All right. So there's the quote unquote chicken. It's prepared. Um, mm -hmm. Ellie Gordon is here. Here. Hello, oh, Ellie. And now I will um, get annoyed with myself because I didn't wash this earlier. Whoops. You guys can watch us wash some parsley. And Hope y'all are ready for this. That's our puzzle. It's covered up because the cat will attack it. It's, um, it's actually really cute. Erica bought, bought it. it yeah. It's a, it's like an ev oh Jesus. Um there you go. It's like a it's the tree of life. It's got like down here we've got all the cells and stuff and it goes all the way up to like bugs and fish and there's plants over here. Hi Ellie. And um mammals and there's there's human. I think that's supposed to be Darwin. And yeah, it's a very cute puzzle. We're like just we're like a, probably twenty five percent done. We have the edges, but um yeah. Um, yeah. Now the parsley is washed. Actually, I'm gonna add this because I think the oil is heated up. Ooh, we're flipping and flopping, everyone. We were doing the parsley, but now we're doing this. So this is. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa ho ho! It's all good. It'll chill out. <laughs> there we go. So that was exciting, but that was um, some literally just tomatoes, it's onion, and yeah, tomatoes, onion, and garlic uh, poured into some boiling oil. Not boiling, but some basically hot. boiling oil. Come on, there we go. And uh, yeah, that was a. I'm just put this away. Yeah, that was a nice cloud of steam. I hope that went over. I hope that came over the video well. That's fun. That's what people are here for, right? Yeah, when shit goes wild. <laughs> yeah. So that's gonna just uh, do its thing for a while, so it's yeah, gonna chilled out. It's just cooking. So that's gonna cook, and then, um, I don't know which I should show, either me cutting parsley or, or this cooking. You cut it in parsley. Okay, probably. Because this is going to do nothing yeah. for the next however long. Six minutes. There you go. That's why I started it. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, back to the parsley.
dry those bad boys off. Got to be thorough. Not ridiculously, but sure. Yeah. How much parsley are we using here, Yi? I assume not the uh, entire it just tree. Said, it just said a sprinkle <clears throat> of it, and then I'm gonna put some on top. Ah. Uh, um, I guess like that. I hope I'm not blocking your view, Eric. My view? Yeah. No. Okay, cool. Cause you know, we gotta, gotta give the viewers what they want, some parsley cutting. Oh, God damn it! It's escaping. Yeah. This parsley kind of smells very odd. Hmm. It smells like parsley, but like... Weird parsley? Oof. Yeah. Huh. Tastes a lot better than it smells. That's good. Well, the, the audience cannot taste nor smell it, so it just looks like parsley. Yeah, I'm not going to put too much in there right now. Yeah. That's because I think mostly the uh it should be put on top as a fresh herb. Yeah, it's a, it's an herb. So, I'm just going to use that whenever it's time to use it. Sweet. It's what's, not very much. Mhm. Mm so, what's the next step? Are we waiting 4 um, minutes? Yeah. So, maybe we can talk about um the country. Sure. Do you want to pull the book open and I'll give them a very quick pet segment while you get set up? Because I think they'll riot if I don't. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, it's going to be a quick one. We're just going to go visit each animal. Here's Kylum. He's a lazy boy. Hi, Kylum. You're very good. Yeah. You're sleepy. It's been very hot today. It's uh, 89 now. It topped out at like 90 something. And I'm sure for a lot of you Southerners or people from, I know a lot of South Carolinans from, in Erica's friend group, but uh, I'm sure that's not hot. But Kylum has not experienced that in a lot. So that was hot for him. He's, he's been a lazy boy today. And now I'm looking for the cat. See, Kylum's easy, because he's always right there. Polly likes to hide. Is she under the bed? Sorry guys, I'm crawling. Oh, there she is. Can I turn the flash on? So, Unfortunately, I don't think the, I don't know how, if you got, were able to see Polly, but uh, I lose internet when I go under the bed. So uh, anything you saw, you got, but otherwise Polly is a, a hidden gem today. And oh my God, Sam said he's gonna get into the triple digit soon for weather, that sucks. Today it felt like a hundred. Yeah. Which is like, ew. Yeah, no, it, it was painfully hot. Okay, so. Here we have some, a picture of like a traditional house there. Mm -hmm. And um, it's interesting because it says that Burkina Faso is, was pre previously called Upper Volta. And- Where's was, Lower Volta? I don't know. I didn't know there was a Volta. And it was kind of lo lot, like, I said lot. I meant little or <coughs> not noticed. <laughs> it wasn't noticed very much <clears throat> by the rest of the world. And, um, but now it's become a lot of people's favorite West African country to go to because apparently it's like, it's really friendly and unique. And I have heard that a lot of the food there is really good. So Cory Fusco is here. Hello, Cory. Hello. So yeah, they have, they have Africa's premier film festival there. In wow. Kina, and it's held every odd numbered year in mm -hmm. the capital. Which is? Uh, Ogadogu? Ogadogu, there you I go. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Something like so, Ogadogu. So it's interesting because they don't have a lot of, like, 
tourism. Like, they don't have a lot of tourist, like, in infrastructure, but people say that it's really cool there, so they like to go. Worth a visit. So, that's what they say. So, one thing that's really good that I looked up for making it, but it's just something that I think too many other places eat too. It's called a loco, and it's plantain that's fried with chili and palm oil. That sounds which good. I love plantains, especially fried plantains. So, that's like right up my alley. And then there's, um, they make beer out of millet there too. It's called dolo. Hmm. That's so, fun. Yeah. <clears throat> so, one of the cool things there is. Reserve the uh, Nazinga, I think is how you say it. And it's one of the most loved and accessible wildlife spotting areas. So there's antelope and monkeys and elephants there and all kinds of birds. So people go there. Um, Fun. Some cool tourist yeah. destination. This is all that there is about it. Just this page. So oh, wow. Yeah, it's, not a lot. it's pretty small, right? It's pretty small, but it's next to Mali, which is big, and yeah, Niger. Yeah, so not too much here, and I guess that makes sense if they don't have a lot of tourist infrastructure. There's not going to be a lot of like. Th this is a travel book, so there's not going to be a lot of stuff that's like, oh yeah, go to this thing because there's not a lot of stuff for it. Yeah. It does say that I think this is so. This is from Cor Royal, which is a really cool. It's like the royal court, and it's a bunch of traditional painted houses that are octagonal in shape, or oct octagonal, whichever you say it. And so couples live in rectangular huts, but children will live with their families and grandparents in these, hmm. which is cool. And single people live in round houses. That's so interesting. I mean, that's pretty neat. So, anyway. Sam says, I should make you some fried plantains when I visit or when you're around mm. with Haitian spice, unless you don't like spicy food. I love spice. That sounds fantastic. I love spicy food. Mm -hmm. I love spicy food. So yeah, this is reduced a bit. It's not as watery. It's still quite watery, but there's, a lot of that is the oil, too, yeah. that's left over, mm -hmm. which and is great. Yeah, at some point we're going to put a bunch of rice in there, so I mean, I don't think liquid is so, a problem. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to add uh, this, and there might be some more... Um, okay, it's fine. Yeah, no steam fireballs. Yeah. We're gonna add the chicken stock that we made. Nice. And then we're gonna add, um, just wanna make sure it's not leaking. <laughs> then we're gonna add the tomato paste and, and the spice. What the fuck? It's what, like three ounces, you said? Yeah. I'm gonna need to get a little spoon. It's about three ounces of it. Mm -hmm. The chicken stock was uh, two cups of it. So I'm just gonna use about half of this. This is seven ounces, but mm -hmm. that's fine if I just use like half. Could, so could you explain this to me? Cause I'm kind of confused and it mm -hmm. might be an interesting reason. Okay. So when I saw the recipe, it said 16 ounces. It doesn't say 16. Do I not know how to read? No, it says one six ounce can. Oh! This is one seven ounce can, and I'm having the recipe, so I'm just gonna do about half of it. So as you all now know, I'm apparently illiterate. Just so you guys know, I tried to tell him this before, and he just wasn't having it. She didn't explain that. She just said, no, I need three ounces. And I said, oh, I said, I'm no, confused. No, it's six, not 16. Yeah, I- It was like, oh, what? Brennan, get your hands out of there. I don't think so, sir. I was messing with the rice. I don't think so. Because it's like sand. Honey, stop. All right, so now we're going to add salt and pepper and then the parsley. And I don't remember how much. All right, so I need like, it doesn't actually say how much. Of, it says half t tablespoon, but that would be like a half of a half tablespoon. <laughs> a little bit. Which I can try. So, so this is a uh, crushed red pepper. Like about, a about a quarter tablespoon. I'm not using uh, the habanero just because, like, I didn't want to. I guess well, I could have, but so I'm just going to put... Oh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. We like spicy, but only in, like, little doses, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Caitlin thinks you're cute. Me? Yeah. Why? Look. Honey, stop. Did I say Honey. <laughs> I don't I, know, probably. I said Brenny. I said Brenny. Oh. I can see how somebody who doesn't know that that's my nickname for you 
Because I was like, I have never said, I don't think I've ever called you honey. You do Unless when would, you I do when you, you're like admonishing yeah, me. Yeah, I call you honey when I'm mad at you. When I do stupid shit. Yeah, it's true. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna guess. Salt. Rice needs a lot of salt. So. Yeah. All right. So, oh, and the parsley. You're right back with my hands full of parsley. Mm -hmm. Caitlin said, "Oops." It's all good, Caitlin. We are an enigma. I'm an enigma. Yeah. So, look, that's starting to look like a sauce. Not, not really. Maybe once you stir it, get it's the. Starting to look like a sauce. Not really. She says, "Still cute though." Thank it is you. Cute. I like my nickname for him. <laughs> so yeah, this is the start of our yeah. sauce. And I mean, then, this is the sauce. This is the sauce. Yeah, this is what the rice is gonna cook in. Mm -hmm. Which I think might be okay because it's not super chunky. That's true. So we might be okay. I mean, the chicken's going in there. Yep. So. Yeah, we're, we're hoping yeah. this works. All right, so that's going on. And now we're going to add the chicken. Ooh, here we go. And, and it's going to cook right in there. It's going to cook in there. We're going to boil it. Mm -hmm. So this is like a nice one pot uh, meal. Yeah, supposedly. I'm going to die if it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, I forgot to explain, but basically we've had horrible luck with the one pot, a bunch of stuff cooking together rice dishes. Which is surprisingly common <clears throat> in the yeah. world. <laughs> and all, every time, I think it's twice now that we've tried to do a... It's like three times. Two, two, to, two or three times that we've tried to cook like <gasps> rice plus stuff in a pot. Yeah. The rice just doesn't cook. And we're not sure why. And like we've asked on Reddit and they don't fucking know. Well, they said something, but then it was like... Two different things that were both, like, wrong. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh, your heat's not high enough. And some other guy's like, oh, your, your heat's too enough. high. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, guys, thanks. I'm going to try to taste this. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to be seen. You won't eating. be seen. How does it taste? I think it tastes... Does it taste like tomato? It tastes really tomato -y. Like... It tastes fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna add more red pepper because I don't taste that. Mm -hmm. I'm curious why the tomato features so heavily it's just, in this it's dish. It's just tomato and chicken rice. Yeah. Like I don't know. It's like ketchup. Yeah, I do like ketchup with rice, so I feel like I'm gonna like this. You like ketchup with rice? I love ketchup with rice. That's disgusting. Well, fuck you, Brendan. <laughs> I ate ketchup with rice almost every day in the Amazon, and. Some people were really supportive of me, and some people were really um, opposed to it. You know, so I got I got both <clears throat> sides of the spectrum. Telling me, it's great. It's the thing I ate when I was trapped in a rainforest hey, for a month. I wasn't trapped. I went there willingly. When I was I also willingly tra trapped in a no, rainforest for a I month. I have to explain how much this this uh, part of my life impacted me because what I also ate there. A lot every day was Oreos with peanut butter. Like they had jars of peanut butter. So I'd take the Oreo and put the peanut butter that was in the jar on the Oreo, right? Like, I don't know how else, it was just like different. You scooped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love, it was like, I never tried it. It was literally the best thing. So I have uh, asked Brendan to find me peanut butter Oreos because they're really good. And, and, and there we are. Everyone's making fun of me, but yeah. it. That's what I ate. I ate ketchup on rice and peanut butter on Oreos. That like is such day. a sad existence. No, I was happy. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I was happy. Um, so yeah, I made that more spicy. Ooh, it smells like a marinara sauce. It tastes like that, but just more watery, mm -hmm. like more tomato. Yeah, because the, cause the well, because the water has to be absorbed. Yeah. Caitlin says peanut butter on Oreos is my favorite thing. It's so good. So I guess you have some allies in this fight. It's so good. So yeah, now it's boiling. Um, I think that's about as hot as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna add the rice and I'm gonna pray because... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna add the rice and cover it. And then... Your mom said peanut butter on Oreos? Yeah, peanut butter or Get the peanut butter Oreos on, we love them. But I'm gonna add the rice and cover it and then what I'm gonna do, cause I'm saying this because I'm not gonna be able to show you guys cause it's like 30 minutes and nobody wants to... I mean, maybe we could play a game. But I don't think people want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to People are here so, for the cooking. 
It's gonna, it's gonna do that. Simmer for 20, 25 minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, basically at this point- And then this check it, and then turn it off, turn the heat off, stir it, sit it for like another 10 minutes, and then that's that. Yeah, so, so basically this, this is the last ingredient. We're gonna hope we're going to seriously hope and pray, you guys, pray. Yep. To whatever God. Like, yeah, send, I don't care all of the gods. Send us some good vibes. Every single deity that exists. Mm-hmm. Because I do not believe. So, yeah, that, that's the last ingredient. This gets mixed in. We're going to cook it for a while. And hopefully it comes out looking good. <laughs> yeah, I really hope so. And then I, I guess... cross so hard. And I guess you said you're going to top it with some more parsley. And knowing you, you're probably going to throw some more spices in at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get it to like. Remember, don't turn it down too low because you want I'm it to not. try. I'm not. I'm trying to get it to a good temperature. Yeah. But I don't know if I should like try to get it there before I cover it. Sam says she doesn't mind hanging out besides the food. What? I think she said she oh. wouldn't mind hanging out until the end. Yeah, I know, but it's a whole thirty minutes, and then yeah. what if it's not right, and then I'm like, oh, hold on. Yeah. No. It... So. Yeah, we, we can do... And this is half the recipe, just so you guys know. Yeah, it's a good 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 bowl of food. It's, it's kind of getting down to a simmer a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to wait until it gets down to a simmer. Mm-hmm. Because so I don't trust this shit. I think that's good enough. Yeah. I think it's getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check it later to make sure because yep. I just don't believe. So, and you said this goes for 25 minutes? Yeah. Set that timer. Your mom says she needs some peanut butter on Oreos. It's really good. You're like starting a movement. It's really good. Mm hmm Well, with that, Erica. Right. Yeah. That with that, um, yeah, that was, that was pretty easy. Yeah, it's, that's not the hard part, is it? <laughs> yeah. This is the hard part, mm -hmm. and actually trying to get it to, to cook right. Yeah, we're hoping. I mean, God. Yep. I hope so. I'm going to try, I'm going to check it and make sure that it's, uh, it's simmering. Your mom says she just worked an almost 12 hour day. So I hope you go get yourself some peanut butter and some Oreos. And sleep. And sleep. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. Yep. So, you know, you guys will see uh, what comes out of this pot yeah. in what, like 40 ish minutes? You'll, you'll probably. Maybe. I hope, I hope 30. In, in, in less than an hour, yeah. you'll hopefully. see. Yeah, that's you'll. A big hopefully. Mm -hmm. And in hopefully less than an hour, you'll see some nice chicken and rice. And your mom asked, where's the polar? Uh, we already did it, but we can show it off again. So I'm, I'm so thirsty from cooking so much rice. Bernie, what should I drink? <laughs> oh, I know, I'll drink polar. It's the only carbonated beverage that doesn't have any count. That's a lie, but we can pretend. Polar, please God, give us cans of <laughs> seltzer. It's, it's all we drink. It's the best carbonated water out there. It's all there. Erica drinks. So it's all I drink ever. I think I have like three <clears throat> days a day. I'm not even kidding. I have three a day probably. So. Yep. And with that, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.